So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And today guys, I bring you a complete guide on how you can activate and uh, go into the fight of the two secret bosses located within the Siofra River area. These are the Ancestor Spirit and the Regal Ancestor Spirit. These reward you an amazing Ash of War. And also guys, we get a Remembrance, which is this right here and uh, the remembrance of the regal ancestor which uh, you can either pick the winged great horn or the ancestral spirits horn which is a talisman you can pick whichever you want the uh, the ashes you get is uh, this right here guys uh where are we it's that there the ancestral follower ashes so yes today we get into it all how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe Okay, so I've been asked for a guide on this because uh, many of the guides out there just are just jumbled up, mixed up, and some people are so confused. Some people don't even know that there's two of these giant mystical reindeer bosses, but it actually is. And today I guide you to both of them. So, what you need to do is first, you guys, have access to Nakron City. You need to gain access to Nakron City, um, and you do that via beating Radan. Starts here guys, come across here, Red Main Castle, come up to here, take him out guys. Simple, an amazing cinematic. And you then gain access to guys, an area which you get to by coming here. So that's where we're going to go. Fort Height West. So yep, the, the ground will open up, you can go underground and explore a crazy, beautiful area. Which we hold many, many secrets like these two buses. Now to actually activate these bosses you have to light uh, certain things which I'll showcase to you exactly where each one is. Okay so as you can see we're here on the map and you need to come this way. This way people. So let's go. Now the first one you'll want to do is the Regal Ancestor Spirit. That's the one that gives you the remembrance which you then take to two fingers at the round table. And then the second one will give you the ashes. And the second one to me is it is way harder way harder to actually activate and initiate the fight yeah once you get it done i don't think the boss is too well it went for me but i'm a high level i can't say it ain't gonna be hard for everybody else but hey okay so this is the way you want to come and if it's your first time coming down here guys you don't want to be jumping off you want to be walking off because it can take out your horse trust me i've done it so many times and look how many of these blood stains there are people that just tells you, <laughs> that tells you that people have dropped off to their death. Uh, on your way here, there will be the Mimic Tier boss. You will have to take out to progress, but at the end of the day, guys, if you can take out the Darn, who isn't the easiest to fight, you can easily take out the Mimic. Easily. Okay, so come through this way, people. Then we we'll go all this way, jump across these roofs. It's actually a ginormous place to explore. So many secrets here, guys. If it's your first time here, probably not, obviously, but you know. Just want to be careful and jump off. Ignore these dittos. Let's transform and shoot ship, yes. Let's avoid them. Just avoid them best you can. Weave, you know, because I will shoot shit at you. You'll see. One's coming. I oh, heard it. There you go. Yep, there you go again. You jump through the window on your left and you want to come up to yeah again step off don't jump just step off and then we want to go this way i'm gonna grab that grace as well guys if you haven't already and come out here we're making our way to that that gap there the alleyway there that's where we're going and we are coming up to the Mimic Tier boss fight now. Which, like I said, is quite easy. I mean, if it's your first time, what I'd suggest you do is uh, take off all your armor and all your weapons. And initiate the fight. Then run away and quickly, as quick as you can, put them all back on. And it should mean that you're fighting a Mimic with no armor or weapons. <laughs> yep. Sneaky, sneaky people. But to be honest, you shouldn't have no problem with it. 
you'll see here's a big yellow you know the the foggy door yeah just take it out take it out and you're good to go from here you can come to and initiate the two uh hidden boss fights the ancestor spirit and the regal ancestor spirit so we just uh, activate that grace and then we can come up here and we actually are able now to pull out our horse we can pull out our horse people okay so what you need to do guys is the first boss who's located on this uh, floor we're just going to jump down to this level we're just going to jump down to the regal ancestor spirit this is the one that gives you the ancestral remembrance that cash in at two fingers for one or two items to activate this boss you need to light light up four uh i'd say beacons and uh i'll show you exactly where they are no so, did i say four there's six beacons in the first spot there's eight in the second one you see there's one here guys so if you're quick enough you can jump off like this before they come and get you stand in front of it light it then the second one is across here so come this way you can see it right there so again guys just jump off your horse stand in front of it on controller it's either white or a triangle and then guys you want to come back this way and listen for the singing troll there you go you can hear her and you can see there's one literally right next to her jump ignore them don't bother try to fight them and like that jump off and like that from here guys you want to look head for the lights see the lights there nah mate you're too slow you're too slow come over here and you'll see right here guys there is one there like that and jump back on your horse and come up this way and then guys just come through these giant pillars and come over here and you'll see there's one right there should be a couple of rats by that so be careful you know ambassadors can bite hard so yep jump off a like that now when you're in the animation when you're in the animation of being a uh, light in it you can't actually get hurt but as soon as that animation stops guys then rats are on ya so be careful and now the sixth one guys is right there now you want to be careful of that fox a bit of a beast i'm not gonna lie a bit of a beast with his magic so yep there's the sixth one you like that and then guys you should have a message pop up on your screen I can't remember what it says, but you want to come this way. Try and avoid that fox as best you can, like I said. Here is magic's coming towards me. You don't want that. There you go. Hits hard. See how hard that hits? I just want to come this way, guys. Run past the singing troll again. And come this way. Up the stairs, you'll see the, bit, the actual stairs now lit up. It shouldn't be for you when you first do this. And just run up here, guys. Run past all these. And run to the very end. And now, you can initiate this fight let's go into here and you'll see on the screen now a quick little speedy up of me destroying this boss and it is really guys as simple as that Okay, so once you've done this boss, guys, we're going to go on now to the second one, which you want to actually go back to the Mimic Tier uh, Grace. So, yes, from the Mimic Tier Grace, this is where we got to go. Now, we've got to go further down. And it is, it's quite a trick. It's quite a bit of parkouring down. You have to be careful. But hey, from here, either way, we've got to run in the same direction. I do use a Grace uh, much closer than this one, but I know an absolute fact as soon as you beat that mimic tier you're gonna activate that grace either way and you may forget about this grace that we come up to down on our left so it don't matter it don't matter which one we uh you activated as long as you're going the right way we're good we're good people okay so you want to now um again go down to your left but we're not going in that direction up towards those the lights we just lit we're coming down this way right down here and here guys you want to jump off be careful or just step off and then come stick to the edge and just come this way to the very very end just like so and here guys you just want to step off uh, just like this you don't want to jump because you can uh, die just step off and land there and you're good and again guys here we just step off here again you're good 
step off here again you're good and again you're good simple okay so now here you can risk it for a biscuit and jump down onto that his head right there but you could also you could go to that platform but it don't really matter i'm just going to do it this way it's easier that way but you can come to that that ledge that sticks out there or jump straight down onto where i did or even hit his head here you'll lose a bit of damage off your horse but he ain't gonna kill you and then guys we want to come down this way so we've got to go down even further down now there is um a grace we're going to activate and it's just to be safe so we're going to run past a couple of the things we need to light up just to get to that grace just so we can be safe just in case you die here and um yeah so you can respawn back down here yeah, come this way guys to the very left and then we want to come to the uh the beautiful golden tree and come across this way you see there's one we have to actually light up i mean if you're brave enough you can light it up now but like I said, if it's your first time here, just follow where I'm going now. And you want to run as fast as you can. And you want to go down here. And we're trying to avoid all these enemies. And we're trying to get to that grace. Now there's some hard hitting mofos down here. I mean, even for me at a level of 300 plus, these guys can three bomb me, two bomb me, even some of them. So yeah, ignore them all. And you'll see they shoot some dirty arrows at you. And I hate the way they stick out. Yeah, it does my head in, but you know. So we're going to run past these and those electrical things there. Avoid them because they will destroy you. So yep, just run this way guys. Just run this way. Now there is a couple of graces in the area I've just run past. But don't worry about them for now. Do not worry about them for now. Just keep coming this way guys. You should avoid all the ads. Like I said, you don't want them shooting arrows at you. If you go in any other direction, you're probably going to get one up your ass. So yeah. See these guys here? Yep, nope. Hide behind that tree and we're good. We should be good. You see that grace right there? That's where we're going to. We are running to that grace. And as soon as you get here, guys, boom. Sit down. And you're good. Now, from here, guys, just follow where I go on screen now and activate all these great, uh, not the graces, activate all these. Uh, should we call them lanterns pull them i don't know what are they well light them all up light them all up guys light them all up let's do as i do and go where i do now i'll catch you back in a quick second
So once you've lit all of them up, guys, you then want to come back to where that grace was. I mean, you can fast travel back to it if you want to. It's all good. Uh, but once you are here, you want to come up these steps, guys. Run forward and again. Interact with that body, that dead. I think it's a rain dead on it, no, it's probably not. But hey, interact with it, and then you guys will get the boss fight. Take out the boss, and you get the ashes. The amazing Ayo level uh, ancestral follower ashes. And there we have it, guys. And well, I hope the video helped you out. If it didn't even a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.